Okay, here's the deal. Precision beats power, timing beats speed, and if you win, no canned food for a month. I mean, you can have dry food, I'm not a monster. Mayweather versus McGregor, oh my god, it's all anybody is talking about. That's because it's the biggest fight since, I don't know, Tyson bit off Holyfield's ear. This is ear biting levels of insanity. Who knows how many ears will be left standing after this fight? If you don't understand any of this hype and you certainly don't give a crap, uh, here's a couple reasons why you should give a crap. Several craps. Like a little, like a pile, like a little pile of craps. So here's the story with Floyd Mayweather Jr. Um, he's the greatest boxer of all time. He's even better than Mike Tyson in Mike Tyson's Punch Out. He's harder to beat than type 2 diabetes and any of the Dark Souls games combined. He's unbeaten! He's 49 and 0! On the other side, we have Conor McGregor, who is the David in our David and Buster, David and Goliath story. He is not a boxer! So technically, the greatest boxer of all time is fighting an amateur boxer. What the f It would kind of be like if Kevin and I fought because he's smaller and has more fighting experience, but I'm way crazier. Okay, Kevin, let me teach you a few things about boxing. All right, we've got a jab, jab. We've got a hook, hook. We've got a jab, hook, jab, hook. <clears throat> we've got a, like when you, when you like clap your hands and they're like, it's probably a move. Jab, hook, uh. and we gotta like shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. But do not cut this absolutely batch insane crazy effort short. Connor is the man. I love this dude. So Connor is this Irishman from humble beginnings, and he rose up to be the most popular UFC fighter of all time. The dude is hilarious. His smack talk is unmatched, and pretty much any crazy thing he says is just made that much more hilarious by that amazing Irish accent. And the dude is just insane to watch. He studies animal movements so he can attack you like some kind of mutant creature. Like if there was a lab explosion and it created some kind of gorilla, cheetah, cobra, gator hybrid. A garibrator? No. Sounds like a Pokemon. Look, I'm just saying that maybe we don't have to fight, okay? Like, I'm really good at foosball. You're good at licking your butthole and nothing else. I don't want to compete in that though. Not my thing. But all that aside, here's the greatest thing about Connor. He makes you believe. When I first saw Connor come onto the scene, I'm just like, who is this guy? He is hilarious. Uh, I really hope he wins a lot because I want to keep watching him fight. And then he did. He just kept winning. And it got to the point where before every fight, we're like, okay, he's won a lot so far, but there's no way he can win this one. This one will be different because he's fighting a veteran, or this one will be different because he's fighting a wrestler. And I doubt him, because that's what logic says, that's what my brain says. And then he opens his mouth, and he starts to talk. And then, you're like, all right, tell me more, Connor, what you got? And he makes you believe that he's going to annihilate these guys, and then, he does it. Okay, we're gonna square, we're gonna square off. Okay, square, like, put your, put your paws up. Oh my God, you're so bad at this. It's gonna be so easy to beat you. What else gloves are these? What did we, what did we agree on? You don't even have gloves. He doesn't have gloves. But just, just hear me out. The reason people care about Mayweather McGregor is because it's absurd. No one knows what's going to happen. I mean, come on, like. Floyd Mayweather's probably gonna knock him out in like the fourth round and it's gonna be like, oh, too bad, you know, oh, but we should have known this was gonna happen because Floyd's the greatest boxer of all time, blah, 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 blah. But maybe not. Maybe Conor will win. Maybe Conor McGregor has the cheat code to Floyd Mayweather. I wish I had cheat code to Dark Souls. I hate the freaking game. See, boxing, like, it's all about, like, precision, you know, like, you don't have to be fast, like, boom, oh, bam, you didn't even see that coming, like, oh, boom, boom, you know, it's like, accuracy. I don't know what I'm doing, I'll be honest. I don't want to fight anymore. I'm hungry. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want more vids, be sure to subscribe, because, you know, my channel, it's pretty awesome. You want to be part of this.